What's up, everybody? We are back with another podcast. I am the Unknown Cameraman. And I'm the Unknown Camerawoman. So a lot of times you see the videos and you see these buildings and you're thinking, man, like, what a shame for this to be left to waste after all these years. It's just sitting there rotting. You know, why doesn't anybody do anything with the building? Maybe eventually it finally gets demolished. But um, today we're going to be talking about a uh, school in Philadelphia, the Spring Garden School. Uh, it was something that we had explored a few years back. Um, it had been abandoned since the 80s. I think it was uh, 86, maybe. Um, so it's been sitting there vacant for so long. And finally, somebody stepped up and is going to do something with it. And it's actually an amazing cause that they're doing with it. So basically, the school is being converted into housing apartments for homeless veterans in the city. So there's a group, Help USA, which is, uh, you can check them out at helpusa.org. And they basically are found a way to take care of housing the homeless veterans in the city. I think that's amazing. Quick backstory on the building. It was originally built in 1927. Um, and I believe it was abandoned in 1986 or possibly earlier because that was the year that it was added to the National Registry of Historic Places. If you would like to check out the full history on this building and check out the, more of the inside, you can click on the link on the screen right now or in the video description and you can watch the original video of ours that has the full tour and the full history of it. It's estimated that there's 1,300, almost 1,400 homeless veterans living on the streets of Philadelphia. Help USA has also done several other projects in Philly. The Spring Garden School is the fifth project, but it has invested about $56 million for low-income and special needs housing. The Spring Garden School project costs around $14.5 million. It will include 37 units of affordable housing for low-income seniors, primarily veterans. A full 12 units will be reserved for homeless veterans. But I think they started working on this around 2013, and it's finally been approved. And they're expecting um, the construction to be done by the middle of this year, 2017. Um, and by the end of the year, uh, people are expected to start moving in. So it's, it's at the point where things are finally moving. All of the red tape is gone. Everything's been approved. And soon enough, they will actually have people moving into this building. So they've managed to rescue this historic site, repurpose it, and put it towards a great cause. I mean, this is the kind of stuff you want to see with abandoned buildings. Not only are they housing these people, but they're also offering on-site services like health care, counseling, employment, and youth mentorship programs. So this is great news for Philadelphia in trying to clean up their homeless problem. What's really cool about this project is that they're still keeping some of the old building alive. The blackboards that were in each classroom were often used by street artists, and they're going to be preserved in the building's main lobby and in Help USA's New York offices. So that's pretty much it. It's just a little update on a building that we had explored. I th it's always cool to see something finally happening with one of these buildings. So uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel because there's plenty more stories like this of places that we've explored that have an update. So stay tuned for other stories like this one. Thanks for watching.